What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome back to my FIFA 14 World Cup Squad Builder Series. And you're probably thinking, why the hell are you still doing the World Cup? It's finished ages ago. Yes it has, but I, I didn't finish the series. I've got to carry on until I finish the series and I'm going to try and finish it before FIFA 15. And um, I know some of you are really, really enjoying these Squad Builders. And so I'm trying to pump out as many as I can before um, FIFA 15 comes about. Because it's not too far away to be fair. And I really want to get back into building some Squad Builders, some really, really good teams in FIFA 15 and not just boring national teams which some of you guys yes enjoy but I just want to open it up to some really, really interesting powerful um, squad builders hybrids and all that good stuff but uh, we're going to continue strong on with the World Cup squad builders and I'm actually going to make a sacrifice I believe I did it in the last episode with Colombia I'm not actually going to have any goals or review at the end of the video I'm going to do it all in one big um, video we're going to have no goals or anything it's just going to be the squad and the main reason is that because the goals take me absolutely forever to get and also editing it all down and I thought I would rather pump out these episodes and then show you some of the goals which obviously I'm not scoring too many outstanding goals it's not like a montage full of them if I was to get long shots for days I'd be playing about 50 100 games I'm not even joking but uh, we're going to do the World Cup squad for Italy Italy not having an Italy being in England's group, obviously, and not having the best of World Cups um, probably people probably expect them to go a bit further but um Let's get straight into the squad. And uh, last episode, the Colombian team, we did three at the back. And we continue on with that three theme, playing with the 3-5-2. Obviously, a very, very popular formation in FIFA 13. And we're going to bring that straight back. And we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. And But before I do that, this squad, for the price it cost, is like the ratings of the players as well is phenomenal. So we're going to start with the goalkeeper and it's obviously going to be this man, Buffon, 86 rated player, plays for Juventus, um, 90 diving, um, 78 handling, 80 reflexes, 90 positioning for 1,700 coins. That is a phenomenal price. He's also got an informed card available as well to pick up. Moving on to the three centre-backs here. These three centre-backs are very, very common in the sense they all play for Juventus and all fairly pacey and all highest rated. So we're going to have the first player here is going to be the highest one and that's going to be Chiellini, another 86 rated player for under 2k, 1800 coins there, um, high defensive work rate, central chemistry on as well, which is, is very, very good for that price. Um, 77 pace, 86 defending, 82 heading, a team of the season card and an informed card available, a fantastic choice indeed. Moving on to the other centre back, we have this player here, Barzaghi, a bit slower, yes, 69 pace. That's not actually too slow. Again, with the Senatal chemistry still on, 86 defending, 80 heading, um, good work rates as well. And for 900 coins, he works very, very well holding that centre-back, middle centre-back position. Moving on to the final player in the centre-back, and it's going to be this player here, Ogbonna, another Juventus player, like I said. 80 rated, so the lowest of rated players. But still, for 850 coins, this guy is a fantastic player. And these three at the back get paired up a number of different times. You can build some fantastic squads with them. Also, I see Chiellini or Borna paired so many times. But 77 pace, 82 defending, and 79 heading. Fantastic stats indeed. And again, another, another force to be reckoned with at the back. Moving on to the CDMs here. The first we're going to have here is going to be this player here, De Rossi. Again, he's got a team of the season card available. 84 rated player for 1,200 coins. And uh, he's one of those players with very, very well-rounded stats. 69 pace, 78 dribbling, 75 shooting, 83 defending, 81 passing, and 84 heading. Obviously not going to be getting up the field too many times with the high defensive work rates, but does the job holding that CDM position, which you're going to need in a kind of and what this team is, it's got some very, very good defenders and CDMs. And then the attackers are very attacking and very strong. So having these CDMs always back works fantastically well. Moving on to the other and final CDM, we have this player here. You probably saw Marco Verratti, 83 rated CDM, team of the season card for 41k. Fantastic price to pick up, guys. Um, I believe his price is hovering around the 40 to 45k mark. And um, for 73 pace, 88 dribbling, 70 shooting, 88 passing, 80 defending and 68 heading. Fantastic stats indeed and works fantastically well in any of the midfielder positions. Centre mid, CDM, and he probably works okay as a striker with very, very good dribbling um, and passing. And uh, is a very, very good player to have in that CDM role. Moving on to the left mid here, we're going to have this player here, El Sharari. I believe his normal position is actually in a left wing. So it did cost a bit more than his asking price for a left mid. 2.7k though, not a bad price um, for a four-star skiller, four-star week for 87 pace, 85 dribbling, 80 shooting, high attacking, high defensive work rate, a right foot player playing on the left so you can cut in an absolute smack line to the back of the net and it is a very, very good choice for left mid. Moving out to the right mid side, we've got a player who's got a team of the season card available and that is Klan Deleva, another 82 rated player, right mid, 
84 pace, 84 dribbling, 77 shooting, 82 passing. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, high attack and work rate. For 1,100 coins, that is a fantastic price indeed. And like I said, he's also got a very, very good team of the season card. I've used it, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I definitely, definitely recommend it. And I think it's probably going for an under 100k, which is pretty decent for the amount of stats on that card. Moving on to the cam here, and we have this legend, Andale Pirlo, the maestro in the cam spot. Funny enough, I've got the maestro chemistry on him as well. Uh, for 4.3k, um, he just has the package in the center attack and mid spot. He's got the dribbling to keep it closed, and he's also got the... Um, sorry, the um, passing to get it into the strikers and works very, very well in this formation in the sense that you can play the balls out to the wingers very, very well. And you can also play a fantastic ball into the strikers and he's a very, very good player to have in that position. Obviously, maybe if you want a team this season alternative, you've got Searchy, the Torino centre forward. He, again, for around 90k, I think it is, is another good choice. But I uh, didn't have enough coins, so I went for the legend Pirlo. Um, 58 pace, not the fastest, but still 82 dribbling, 76 shooting, 91 passing. Fantastic free kick stats as well. Four-star weak foot. Uh, medium, medium, which works okay for a cam. Um, maybe I'd like a bit more attacking, uh, but still works fairly solidly and is definitely going to be a very, very good distributor of the ball. Moving on to the two final players of this World Cup squad for Italy, the strikers. The first we're going to have here is going to be this player here, Mario Balotelli, AC Milan striker. I believe he's actually in rumours in going to Liverpool at the time of making this video for around 14 mil. What a bargain. I think that's an absolute steal. But uh, back to the video, 2.1k for this guy, 84 rated. And this guy is so solid up top, I was surprised by his price. I'm not even going to lie. I thought he was around 10k. Um, 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 82 shooting, 75 heading, 6 foot 2, an absolute tank up front. 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. And the 3 star skill moves is kind of frustrating because obviously 4 star skill moves would be a lot better. And I think he may have had that in FIFA 13. But still, he is a very, very good solid card in this year's FIFA. And moving on to the final player of the World Cup squad for Italy. This is going to be another team of the season card. It's going to be this player here, Ciro Immobile. 82 rated player. I believe now actually has transferred to Dortmund um, to obviously replace Lewandowski. But um, this card is a Torino card. 84 pace, 80 dribbling, 86 shooting, 88 heading. Um, 6 foot 1, high attacking work rate for 46k to about 50k. He is an absolute Italian stallion up front. I'm not even going to lie. He is so solid. He's a very, very strong player. Yes, he's not the fastest. These two strikers aren't the fastest, but they are strong. They are tall, and they've got an absolute rocket of a shot on them. Um, it's going to be going in the back in there. And with the passing of Andre Perlo, you don't need pace. You don't need to play the overtop balls. Work it around. Find the spot. Hit it with the right foot or the left foot, and that's going in the back of the net. But guys, that is the World Cup squad for Italy. Obviously, you've got a number of fantastic players. Two team this season cards. Um, I believe you've got... Um, three 86 rated cards, three 84 rated, and the rest all above 80. Fantastic players indeed. And you've also got various different team of the season cards and inform cards in the squad. I believe you've got inform Balotelli available, team of the season at Candeleva. Um, Perlo, I think, has got an inform card. Um, De Rossi's got a team of the season card. I believe Chilean has got a team of the season and inform. Uh, Barzagli, I think, ha I'm not too sure. I don't think he has got a card. And uh, maybe Obonna. I think Obonna doesn't either. But Buffon and inform card in goal as well. So you've got a number of different players you can get this team upgraded to. And for around 120-ish K is a fantastic team. Maybe a bit uh, 100K, I reckon you could probably pick this team up if you're getting lucky with the prices. But overall, guys, this is the World Cup squad for Italy. Very, very good, strong squad. And um, I think in FIFA 15, their ratings are going to stay very, very similar. Obviously, Italy didn't do as strong in the World Cup, um, but um, they've got a number of Juventus players who had a very, very strong season. Candeleva's doing okay. Um, Immobile, obviously, getting team the season cards. Verlati, I'm guessing, is going to go up because he had a number of very, very strong performances. And it'll be interesting to see, like, El Shirai if he's back in because I believe he's been injured for a long time. But, guys, that's the World Cup squad for Italy. Remember, if you like the squad, remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the series and go and check out the World Cup squad for Colombia if you haven't, guys. This has been Grosh. Till next time, adios.